Hi guys, it's Katie, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these really cute uh, painted word mugs. So these are really great ideas for gifts and just to have around. They're really cute, so let's jump in. So you're going to want to get some large scrapbooking stickers. You're also going to want some oil-based ceramic Sharpie markers. And you're going to want nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol. You're also going to want cotton pads to go with that. And of course, two ceramic mugs that are plain. So you're going to want to start by cleaning off the surface of your mug just so that the paint pens stick. So I'm just kind of wiping down where I'm going to be painting on this with some rubbing alcohol. And of course, you're going to want to wait for that to dry before you start sticking these stickers on or they're not really going to stick. So just choose a word or a name or anything. I'm writing joy on this mug just because I kind of made these around Christmas time but I'm just such a procrastinator with uploading. So <laughs> I'm writing joy on this mug. It'll be really festive. And then I'm just taking a pink and green because I didn't have red and these are the oil based sharpies and you're going to want to do a couple test dots on a piece of paper because it takes a little while to get these going. And basically all you're going to do is just start making polka dots all over your mug area. You're going to want to make them more concentrated near the center. So you're just going to want to dab these. Don't press too hard or it will leak and just create like a giant dot mess. Just kind of tap gently. And as you can see, mine are kind of more concentrated in the center area. So that's how you're just going to want to start this out. And then you're going to want to start making your dots a little more spread apart as you get to the outer edges, just to give it that nice look. And now I'm going in with my pink marker and I'm just filling in some white space as well as just overlapping some of the green dots and this really gives a really nice effect when you use multiple colors. And then again with the outer edges I'm just spreading the dots more far apart and just filling in some of those white gaps as well as going kind of close to the green dots just to give it a nicer look. And this is what it should look like. So you're going to want to let that dry. And now I'm also doing another one. And this just has my name on it. And for this one I used pink and purple and blue dots. And I really liked the way it looked with three colors. It was just kind of like messier and just more colorful. So you're going to want to let those dry before you peel the stickers off just so you don't rip off the paint as well. Just let them dry for a few minutes, maybe an hour or so. So now I'm just using an X-Acto knife to help me peel off these stickers. And there will be some areas where your Sharpie marker kind of like bled. But here I'm just taking this X-Acto tool and I'm just kind of just scraping the paint off where it... um where it bled through just to like clean up the edges a little bit and make the letters look a little bit nicer. So I just want to be really careful peeling these off. And also when your mug is finished you're going to want to hand wash these mugs because if you put them in the dishwasher the paint will most likely chip off. Um, you could always get like a spray sealant to spray onto this and it might stay a little better but I would definitely recommend gently hand washing these. So anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you, this gave you a cute little gift idea or just a fun little thing to add to your house. So bye guys. Thanks for watching.